All right, in this lesson, we're gonna be looking at uh, financial maths again, but we're going to be talking about best, best buys or the unitary method. And these are both ways that you can determine um, what's the best financial decision you can make when you're at the shops, like buying something. In this video, we're gonna develop our ability to compare prices and make the best value for money decision. So if we're thinking about when we're at the shops, are we gonna buy the, um, 10 pack of tea bags, or are we gonna buy the 50 pack of tea bags? Which one's better value for money, okay? Um, and then you need to be able to compare products by making the volume equivalent, okay? So 10 tea bags and 50 tea bags, that's not equivalent. We need to make them the same so we can compare it. And then you need to multiply the price, okay? To make it easier to compare. Um, and then you have to determine which is the better buy. So are you better off buying 10 tea bags or are you better off buying 50 tea bags? What's better value for money? All right, so which is better value for money? We've got 200 grams of blueberries for $2.95, or we've got a kilo of blueberries for $15. So the first thing we needed to do is we needed to make the volume the same. Okay, 200 grams is not the same thing as a kilo, so we need to make them the same. So we're gonna turn 200 grams into a kilo. Okay, so 200 grams at $2.95 is this top one. We wanna turn it into a kilogram, which is a thousand grams, or a thousand grams, not a hundred grams. But we don't know what this price is gonna be. Okay, so to get from 200 to a thousand, I actually have to times by five, okay? Two, four, six, eight, 10, okay? 2,000 goes, 200 goes into 1,000 five times. So then we have to times this side by five as well, okay? Then we'll know if I bought five lots of 200 grams, how much would that cost? So I'm gonna do um, $2.95 times five, and that's gonna give me $14.75. Okay, which is cheaper than this. So I'm better off buying five packets of this than buying one of these. It's cheaper to buy five packets of this than one packet of that. In this second example, we've got 100 grams of olives for $1.45 or two kilos of olives for $22, okay? So what we're gonna do is we need to make the volume the same. So we've started with 100 grams at $1.45, and we wanna turn that into two kilos, okay? Which is 2,000 grams is the same thing as two kilos, and we don't know what that price is. So to get from 100 grams to 2,000 grams, I actually have to times by 20. This goes into this 20 times. So if this goes into this 20 times, that means I have to do the same for this side. I have to times $1.45 by 20, okay? So if I bought 20 packets of this, how much would that cost is what we're really trying to find out, okay? So I'm gonna go $1.45 times 20, and that's gonna give me $29. So if I bought 20 of those, it would cost $29, but I would end up with the same amount as this, but this is cheaper than $29. So the best buy is to buy two kilograms of olives, if you can think of something to do with two kilograms of olives. So for this last one, we've got a hundred bag box of tea bags for $3.80, or we've got a 25 bag box for 99 cents, okay? So this isn't grams this time, it's per bag, but what we need to do is the same process. We wanna make the smaller one the same as the bigger one. Okay, so we've got 25 bags at, uh, $0.99 and we want to turn it into a hundred bags at a price that we don't know, okay? So what we're asking is, is it better to buy four of these or one of these? Because four goes into that, I mean, 25 goes into that four times, okay? So if I bought four of these, how much would that cost me? 
four times 0.99 is $3.60. So in this example, this is cheaper, okay? It's cheaper to buy four of the small boxes than one of the big boxes because this only adds up to $3.60, whereas one big box is $3.80. Okay, so if we think back to our learning intention and success criteria, it was to be able to figure out what's better value for money. Um, and to do that, you need to make the volume the same. So 25 bags needs to be the same as 100 bags. And then you have to multiply the money by whatever you had to multiply the volume by. And then you just compare those two prices to see which is better value. Okay, so if you can do all of those things, then you've met today's success criteria.